I started when I was almost 13, uh, quite late. And um, interestingly, I was swimming around in the pool and a coach tapped me on the head and asked me who my coach was. I said, oh, I'm not coached. And he said, well, bring your parents down. And uh, he took me on for free as a prospect. So about the next week, he brought in a famous breaststroke coach and he said, um, I'd like you to have a look at Jan because I think she could be quite good at medley, medley swimming. And the coach uh, said to me, in front of me, said, no, 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 she's never going to be any good at medley because she can't do breaststroke properly. And so my father went down to the coach and he said, look, in our family, we don't say can't do. You need to tell me if we can help her uh, in any way to get stronger in breaststroke or what has to happen. And so she understands it. She's got good understanding because I was 12, nearly 13. So it wasn't like a very young child. And um, so I did all the practices that were required. And four years later, that coach was on the Olympic team coaching the women and I was on the team as a medley swimmer. Coaching does have a lot to do with trust. It's, uh, it's building trust with people and coaching by its essence is teaching uh, young people to achieve perhaps more than they think they can and to create that self-belief in them, which I think goes hand in hand with success. Believing that you can have success is as important or as the precursor to having success.